Assalamu alaikum. How are you folks? You all must have wondered why is it so difficult to revise the functions of the extraocular muscles. Well today I'm gonna we're gonna discuss this and I'm gonna make it easier for you. Now let's recall how many extraocular muscles there are. There are a total of six extraocular muscles. Four recti, two obliques. Let's discuss the recti first. Remember, you do not need to memorize the functions. You just need to remember the diagrammatic representation of these muscles. This will help you recall the functions of these muscles. Now the medial recti, as the name suggests, is attached to the medial aspect of the eye. Now if you pull this muscle or this muscle, when this muscle contracts, it's called, it causes adduction. The later recti is attached on the lateral aspect of the eye. When this muscle contracts, it's called, it causes abduction. Now, superior recti causes elevation, inferior recti causes depression. Now, let's come to the oblique muscles. In my opinion, the oblique muscle is what gets the doctor so frustrated and confused. Now, let's discuss the superior oblique first. The superior oblique is attached on the superior lateral aspect of the eye. Look at the diagram. Just look at the muscle, look at the diagram. If this muscle contracts, what do you think will happen? The eye will move inwards but in a swinging pattern, like this. So, keeping eye the right eye, I'm not talking about the left eye. My right eye is going inside the torsion right now. So this is the primary function of superior oblique. Remember, there is primary, secondary and tertiary function. Now the primary function of superior oblique, as we just discussed, is inside the torsion. The secondary function is depression. The tertiary function is abduction. Now let's come to the inferior oblique. Keeping in mind the diagram of inferior oblique, if this muscle contracts, it causes excycler torsion, that is the outward movement of the eye, like this. But, yes, this is the primary function. Now the secondary function is elevation. The tertiary function is abduction. The tertiary function of both the obliques is abduction. And the tertiary function of both the recti is adduction. Hope this clears your concepts to some extent. I know it's difficult, but if you recall the diagram of this extraocular muscle, I'm pretty sure you don't need to recall or re or memorize the functions of these muscles. Just memorize the diagram and I'm sure I would have helped to some extent. If not, leave it in the comment box. How can I improve my videos? Until then, take care folks.